And with the first overall selection in the 2023 NHL Draft, the Chicago Blackhawks are very proud to select from the Regina Pats, the Western Hockey League, Connor Bedard. This was the moment Connor Bedard officially became a member of the Chicago Blackhawks. We all knew this moment was coming for months, however, after he torched the World Junior Championships in January and the WHL all season long, Connor Bedard was the most hyped up prospect since a kid named Connor McDavid, and as we neared his NHL debut, the question became, would he live up to the hype? And so far, the answer has been yes. Bedard would get his first taste of NHL competition in the preseason. Making his debut against the St. Louis Blues, Bedard would record two assists including this absolute beauty on Anthony CU's game winner. Throughout the preseason, Bedard had many great chances to score a highlight reel goal, making NHL defenders look like junior leaguers with some of his dangles. But Bedard would only score one goal in the preseason and it was on the empty net, and his reaction really sums up his mood. At the conclusion of the preseason, Bedard would finish with one goal and four assists for five points in four games, and prove that he could hold his own against NHL competition. But then the question became, how would he fare in regular season action? Leading up to his debut, the glazing was getting out of hand, and everyone knew it. It seemed like NHL was only talking about Connor Bedard. Connor Bedard would make his highly anticipated debut against Sidney Crosby and the Pittsburgh Penguins, and a record of 1.43 million viewers tuned into the ESPN game on his debut, and Bedard would look pretty good. He had a lot of good chances and finished the night with one assist, his first National Hockey League point. The next day, Bedard set TNT regular season viewership records in a game against the Bruins, which averaged over 900,000 viewers. And Bedard would be even better in this game, scoring his first career goal on this beautiful wraparound. On Saturday, Bedard would record his third NHL point against Montreal and continue to look pretty good against multiple other teams. But the scoring definitely slowed down as he returned to Chicago with just three points in five games. And then without missing a beat, Bedard would score in his Chi-Town debut against the defending champions, showing off that padded end wrister. The next game, Bedard would rip one off a Charlie Coyle turnover, but then it got overturned because Anthony C was offside by about a millimeter. So through seven games, Bedard had looked good. Two goals, two assists, four points, but he certainly had another level to find, and he was about to find it. The next six games Bedard would play would be absolutely masterful and show why he's one of the best prospects we have ever seen come into the National Hockey League. He started it all off against Vegas, where he scored against them for a second time this season on this beautiful play in front of the net. Bedard would use another wrist shot to score against Arizona, and the wrist shot goals were really piling up now. That release is one of the best in the National Hockey League already, comparable with Austin Matthews. To complete the three-game point streak, Bedard would score another goal using the wrist shot against Florida, and by this point it was getting unfair. Bedard was barely breaking his sweat and making teams look silly. This would put Bedard up to five goals in his first ten career games, making him the second teenager to ever do that in the history of the Chicago Blackhawks franchise. The only other one to ever do that was Jonathan Taves. Bedard didn't record any points in his next game against New Jersey, and up to this point, he had not had a multi-point game, but that was all about to change in dramatic fashion. On Thursday, Bedard came into Tampa Bay on an absolute mission. He started it all off with a greasy goal in front of the net, proving that even Connor Bedard isn't afraid to go to the chippy areas. Up to this point, all of his goals had been beauties, but this really changed it. Next, he would show off his unselfish hockey sense with this ridiculous backhand pass to give his teammate a wide open net. I mean, come on! And then Bedard would score his second goal of the game to make it his first multi-goal game. I mean, he got a little lucky bounce, but cut into the net and put it on goal. What else can you do? And then Connor Bedard would once again show off his world-class vision and passing skills with this absolutely beautiful dime to Corey Perry who just had to keep his stick on the ice 
So to recap, Bedard got two goals and two assists for four points. A four point game and this kid is only 18 years old and he's doing it against one of the best teams in the world. Frankly, an unbelievable performance. And then on Sunday, he would have another amazing game. Back to back multi-goal games for Connor Bedard and this game, both of his goals were ridiculous. First, he would strip the defenseman of the puck and roof it. I mean, I don't know how he saw any space here. Like, this is a world, world-class goal. There's only a couple guys in the National Hockey League who could score this. And next, he would make this move where it looks like he's got a reach of 7 feet because he pulled the puck from the outside all the way to the inside and sniped it. I mean, this is a move I haven't seen very often, putting it through the triangle like that. It just shows you that this kid is already doing stuff no one else really can. And that brings us to the current day, November 13th at the time of recording. Connor Bedard has 9 goals, 4 assists, 13 points in 13 games. He is on pace, forget this, 57 goals. Now, do I think he's gonna get 57 goals? Probably not, but 40 seems like a reasonable expectation. The last guy to do that was Austin Matthews, and I already compared their releases. Bedard is leading rookies in goals and points, and he is also tied for 11th in goals in the entire National Hockey League. A reminder, this kid is 18 years old. He can't even drink. So, what does the future have in store for Bedard? Well, I think a Calder is likely within his reach, although McDavid and Crosby both didn't win the Calder in their rookie year. But if you look at McDavid and Crosby, they both won the Hart Trophy in their second season, and Connor Bedard might be on track to do something similar. Now call me crazy, because it is really early to predict this far ahead, especially when Connor McDavid is around, but he has looked a little bit off this year to start it, and I'm sure he'll pick his name up, but Connor Bedard might be walking into a little bit of a vacuum for the best player in the world next year, and he could win the Hart Trophy in his sophomore season. Anyway, that's all the glazing I'm going to do today. Connor Bedard is really good at hockey, and that should be your takeaway from this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.